एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर रंजीत कुमार गटला वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नोडल एनालिसिस सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मेश एनालिसिस एंड देन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नोडल एनालिसिस सो वी हैव वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजीज व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग इन द electrical circuits which are what is node and what is uh, uh, branch and what is loop like that so here as we know already a node is a point in a network common to two or more circuit elements or we can simply we can say the point of interconnection of the two or more elements is called a node okay so then here there is an another uh, terminology called the principal node so here principal node means of course i mean the difference between a node and principal node is so when node means okay when two elements are connected at a point and the particular point is called as a node and if more than two elements are connected at a particular point then that is called as a principal node so then suppose if a network having n number of nodes then we will get n minus 1 unknown voltages and based on that n minus 1 unknown voltages we will write n minus 1 equations so that we will solve these n minus 1 voltages so based on that we can find the current flowing through any circuit or uh, sorry any element or the voltage across the any element so here this is also a one kind of network reduction technique same like in uh, as we discussed in the mesh analysis and these are the various steps uh, that we need to follow to find uh, the unknown values the unknown values are nothing but uh, either it may be the voltage across any resistor or the current flowing through any resistor in a particular network so for that here we need to follow these steps to apply the nodal analysis so in the mesh analysis the first step is we should identify how many loops are there and here we should identify how many nodes are there first step is to identify the number of nodes then mention the node voltages okay just compare in the mesh analysis we uh, what is that mention the loop currents and here we mention the node voltages then here we should apply after mentioning the node voltages then we will apply the kv sorry kcl which is kirchhoff's current law then uh by applying the kcl then we will get some equations based on the variables or based on the node voltages then by solving those equations we will get the node voltages right so for that let us consider one a simple network which is having two voltage sources okay and three resistors so according to the nodal analysis procedure first we should identify how many nodes are there in this particular network so here usually the first step how many nodes are there identifying the nodes there are two number of nodes are there okay so in usually in the nodal analysis okay then how many node voltages that we should consider n minus 1 so which means the remaining one node we usually take it as a reference node so usually the reference node we usually take it this one so that indicate the node voltages here the mention the node voltages here let us consider here it is v1 and this is the reference vr which is equal to 0 now indicate okay i mean now we should apply the kcl so to apply the kcl we should know the direction of the currents in each element at a particular node v1 so for that here we are indicating the direction of the currents flowing through each element so here then this is the i1 the direction i mean let us consider the current i1 which is flowing through the r1 so why the direction of the current is like this because again as i told you this is based on the the polarities of the voltage source so high potential to low potential so that's why here in this way the current will flow okay through the resistor r1 so that's why let us consider the current flowing through resistor r1 is i1 and another branch which is connected to v1 is r3 so then the current flowing through resistor r3 is i2 because uh, let us consider here it is will flow like this okay because after this current i1 it will divide uh, into this branch and this branch then the next uh, uh, element or the next uh, element which is connected to node v1 is r2 
then the current flowing through R2 is let us consider I3 because here again from high polarity to low polarity. That is why here the direction is like this. Then now write uh, the voltage, e I mean, uh, okay, okay. Now, now just uh, uh, write the voltage equations at each element, okay, which means here what is I1, okay. So the voltage across R1 is equal to because the direction of the current is from this point to this point, okay. So that is why here the voltage is Va and here the voltage at this particular node we are considering as V1. So that is why Va minus V1 by R1 the resistor, right. Because the potential difference between these two points is Va minus V1 by the resistance R1. So the current I is equal to V by R. So that is why Va minus V1 by R1. Then similarly coming to the R I2. Here V1 minus here the potential difference here it is 0 that we have considered which is the reference node. So that is why V1 minus Vr by R prime. And similarly here if the current direction is in this way so that is why Vb minus V1 by R2. These are the, the current equation I1, I2 and I3. Now apply the KCL at this particular node V1. So according to the KCL the sum of the uh, what is that uh, the algebraic sum of the currents entering towards the node which is equal to the sum of the currents leaving from the node or, or in another words the algebraic sum of the entering and leaving currents at a particular node is equal to 0. So according to this here I1 is entering current okay and uh, I3 is also entering current let us consider the entering current is the our uh, reference direction so that I1 and I3 are having the positive sign and I2 is the living current so that is why it is having the negative sign or in another words here I1 plus I3 these are the entering currents. So algebraic sum of the uh, the currents entering towards the node is equal to the sum of the currents living from the node. So the living from the node is I2. So if you uh, take this I2 to the left hand side then I1 minus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Then substitute the values of I1, I2 and I3. So here I1 is Va minus V1 by R1 and I2 is V1 minus Vr by R3 and I3 is Vb minus V1 by R2. Then substitute these values here, right, okay. Then by solving these equations, then we can able to find the voltage V1, okay. So let us consider the circuit with the, um, the numerical values instead of V1, V2, R1, R2. So here the V1 is equal to 5 volts and V2 is equal to 10 volts and R1, uh, R2, R3, R2, 4 and 3 ohms respectively. Then First we need to identify the nodes here, so uh, the same way because the circuit is same circuit. So let us con uh, consider here there are two nodes, so that is why we should consider here it is V1 and this is the reference node because N minus 1 nodes, uh, node equations we will get. So that is why here there are only two nodes so which means only we will get the one equation. So let us consider here the node voltage is V1 and Vr as it is, okay. Then let us indicate the direction of the currents also, same like in the previous. Uh, a case because the circuit is similar like the previous case as it is circuit we have considered. So then the current flowing through the 2 ohms resistor is I1 and the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor is I2 and similarly the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor is I3. Then now apply the uh, what is that of course now find the uh, I1, I2 and I3 values okay because here again I1 is equal to phi minus V1 by 2 and uh, I2 is equal to V1 minus 0 by 3 and I3 is equal to 10 minus V1 by 4 because here this is the 10 volts. Before it was V2 minus V1 and before and here it was uh, uh, sorry V, V minus V1. Okay. Then same way you just apply the KCL at particular node V1. So uh, I1 minus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Then substitute the values of I1, I2, I1, I2 and I3 values in this equation. Then you will get this one, okay. If you simplify this, then you can uh, able to solve the node voltage V1. So here V1 is equal to 4.615 volts, okay. So here I have just considered a simple, very simple circuit to get understand the procedure, how the node analysis can be applied to find uh, the node voltages, right. So the first step is, we should identify how many nodes are there in a given circuit. Then after that, we should mention the node voltages because what are the uh, various node voltages as well as we should identify the reference node also. We should consider one reference node also. Then after that, we should apply the KCL 
and before that we should write the current equations at every element okay then apply the kcl and substitute the values of various currents then by solving those equations then you will get node voltages fine then now here if you want to find the current i1 then substitute phi minus here v1 is 4.615 uh, by 2 because suppose if you want to find i1 according to i1 here phi minus v1 v1 is 4.61 by here 2 then you will get i1 is equal to 0 0.192 similarly i2 and similarly i3 also we can find right then yes let us take uh, another circuit which is having three loops okay then we should apply the nodal analysis for this particular circuit so again according to the procedure first we should identify how many number of nodes are there okay so this particular circuit having how many number of nodes one two three and four okay so this particular circuit having four number of nodes right so let us identify first identify the number of nodes okay so one two three four number of nodes are there and in this four usually we consider this is the reference node and indicate the node voltages okay and mention the node voltages so which means here v1 v2 v3 and the ground node is we usually consider as a reference node so here how many nodes are there one two three four nodes are there so that we will get n minus one so which means four minus one so three volt three node voltage equations we will get one node voltage equation is with respect to v1 another node voltage equation is with respect to v2 another node voltage equation is with respect to v3 now let us identify okay i mean before applying to the kcl let us identify the current directions in each element right so first uh, the current direction in the 0.5 ohms resistor again of course uh, this is based on the polarities again uh, the 9 volts high potential to low potential so this is the the direction of the i1 then the the current flowing through 1 ohm resistor is i2 and then the current flowing through 0.2 ohm resistor is i3 and the current flowing through 1 ohm resistor is i4 and then the current flowing through this again a uh, 1 ohm resistor is i5 and then one more the current flowing through 0.5 ohms resistor is i6 now write the i1 okay the current equation okay what is the current flowing through this 0.5 ohms okay in terms of voltage so i is equal to v by r but what is the potential difference across these two points which means v1 and v0 and v1 and v2 and v1 and v3 in between v1 and v3 okay because in between v1 and uh, uh, what is that vr the 0.5 ohms resistor and as well as the 9 o 9 volts voltage source is there and in between v1 and v2 okay only 1 ohm resistor is there and in between v1 and v3 again 0.2 ohms resistor is there now let us write the equations right so of course uh, here 9 minus v1 okay 9 minus v1 by 0.5 ohms here similar like in the previous case that we have considered and here i2 is equal to v1 minus v2 by 1 because the direction is v1 to v2 the current direction okay and then and this particular node i3 okay which means uh, uh, the current flowing through 0.2 ohms is v1 minus v3 by 0.2 then at this particular point here v2 minus 0 by 1 and v2 minus v3 by 1 and then here v3 minus 0 by 0 0.5 okay so these are the the various uh, current equations across i mean flowing through each element then now apply the kcl at every node because first we should apply the kcl at node 1 and as well as the kcl at node 2 and as well as kcl at node 3 so first let us apply the kcl at node 1 so at node 1 what are the uh, currents entering towards the node and what are the currents leaving from the node so i1 is uh, the current i1 is entering towards the node and i2 and i3 are leaving from the node so that's why according to the kcl i1 minus i2 minus i3 is equal to 0 
then substitute the values of i1, i2 and i3 here. i1 is 9 minus v1 by 0.5 and i2 is v1 minus v2 by 1 and i3 is v1 minus v3 by 0 0.2. Then substitute these values here. Right. 9 minus v1 by 0.5 minus v1 minus v2 by 1 and minus v1 minus v3 by 1. So v3 by 0 0.2. Then now, similarly at node 2, apply the KCL at node 2. Then what are the uh, uh, what are the currents entering towards the node here? It is I2 and what are the currents leaving from the node is I4 and I5. So I2 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. So I2 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. Then substitute the values of I2, I4 and I5 same like in the above equation. Then we will get V1 minus V2 by 1 and I4 is V2 minus 0 by 1 and uh, I5 is v2 minus v3 by 1, which is equal to 0. Then similarly, apply the KCL at node v3. Okay. Then what are the currents entering towards the node is i3, i5 and the living is i6. Then here, i3 plus i5 minus i6 is equal to 0. Then substitute again i3, i5, i6 values, then you will get another equation. Then simplify this equation, this equation and this equation. Then you will get the three voltage equations. Okay. So like this, by simplifying the first, uh, I mean, uh, equation at node 1, here it is 0 0.8 V1 minus 0 0.1 V2 minus 0 0.5 V3 is equal to 1.8. And uh, at the second node, the second node equation is V1 minus 3 V2 plus V3 is equal to 0. And the third one is 0 0.5 V1 plus 0 0.1 V2 minus 0 0.8 V3 is equal to 0. So, by solving these three equations, we can able to find V1, V2 and V3 values. Because here three variables are there and three equations are there. By solving these three equations, we can find V1, V2, V3 values. Right? So, here the V1, V2, V3 values are V1 is equal to 4.5 and V2 is equal to 2.5 and V3 is equal to 3.1. So, by using these node voltages, now we can able to find the current flowing through each element. What is I1, what is I2, what is I3 because now we are having the equations for I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 and I6. Suppose if you want to find the current flowing, I mean current I4 which is the current flowing through this particular 1 ohm resistor, then V2 minus 0 by 1, here what is V2, 2 minus 5.7, I mean 2.57 minus 0 by 1, so then I4 is equal to uh, 2.57 amperes. Like this we can find. Okay, so like this we can find any unknown value. Right. So, here the current flowing through 0 0.2 ohm resistor. Here they, are, they ask us to find the current flowing through 0 0.2 ohms resistor. So, here the 0 0.2 ohms is this one and 0 0.2 ohms resistor here it is V1 minus V3 by 0.2. So, then substitute V1 value as a 4.54 and V3 as a 3.16. Then substitute here then you will get the uh, value okay, uh, of I 0 0.2 which means the current flowing through the 0 0.2 is I3 which is equal to 6.925. In this way, we can find uh, uh, the value of the current. So, which means in the loop analysis and node analysis, okay, the target is same. Okay, we need to find an unknown value. Unknown value, either it may be the current flowing through the element or the voltage across the element. Okay, but the uh, the way to uh, what is that uh, evaluate or find the unknown value is different. Either may we may use node analysis or mesh analysis, right? Then now, next one, okay, so suppose, because here, instead of the voltage sources, if the, some current sources are there in a particular circuit, then how we can apply this nodal analysis, right? So, this is very easy even compared to um, the circuit having voltage sources. Of course, again, same procedure here we should follow. First, we should identify the nodes, of course, because here also the same circuit, only the difference is just we have replaced the voltage sources as a current sources. Then uh, there are four number of nodes and uh, so that that's why we have considered uh, three node equations and another fourth node is uh, as a reference node. Then again we have indicated the current same like in the uh, previous case okay because here the current direction of these three ohm uh, three ampere current source is in this way so that's why we have considered I1 is in this direction and here also the eight ampere uh, current source direction is upward so that's why here I6 also we have considered the same way. Okay, the remaining currents uh, we have already uh, discussed uh, how to uh, indicate the current direction. So, say, same like in the previous case, we have indicated the current directions. Now, we should write the uh, 
I mean, node voltage equations at every node. So, which means at V1, at V2, and V3. So, let us consider at V1. Because here I1 is 3 amperes. Already is there. Okay. Also, we need to write only the I2 equation. Okay. And again here, uh, the similarly here I3 equation and uh, here I4, I5, and I6 already 8 amperes. Okay. Then substitute here. Suppose here, According to KVL, the same like in the previous case here, uh, the entering current is I1. So, I1 minus I2 minus I3 equal to 0. So, what is I1? Here it is 3 amperes. So, directly substitute 3 amperes. And I2 is, here I2 is V1 minus V2 by 5. So, that's why V1 minus V2 by 5. And here I3 is V1 minus V3 by 1. So, V1 minus V3 by 1 equal to 0. Then similar way at V2, of course, this equation is same like in the previous case, but here V3 again, okay, at the place of I6, we are directly substituting the 8 amperes because already it is a current source. Then again, simplify these three equations, then you can find, uh, because this is equation number 1, 2, 3. So, by solving these three equations, we can find V1, V2, V3. So, here V1 is equal to 48.62 and V2 is equal to 33 volts and V3 is equal to 48.75 volts, right? So, this is another way. Of course, the same procedure, but here just, uh, uh, we, I mean, uh, we have uh, replaced the voltage sources as a current sources. Then now, let us go for another circuit. Okay. So, suppose here, it is a combination of both voltage and current sources. Now, Right? Because before it was only current sources and only voltage sources. Suppose if there is a voltage and current sources, then how to find? Again, here also, first we need to identify the number of nodes. Of course, here there are three number of nodes are there. Okay. So, and then indicated the voltages V1, V2 and the ground node is reference node. Then now write the voltage equations. Right. So, here, of course, the currents. Let us consider here it is I1, I2. Okay. And here it is I3 and here it is I4. Right? Because the same current will flow because here there is no element. So, that's why I didn't indicate any current. Because if there is a uh, resistor connected in series with this uh, uh, current source, then uh, we should indicate some, uh, I mean, uh, I1, I2, I3, I4 and here I5. But here there is no element connected in series with this, uh, uh, what is that, um, the current source. So, that's why here we are not indicating any value. Then now apply, I mean, write the voltage equations here. Okay. So, of course, here uh, the same way, similarly, uh, the voltage, I mean, the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor is uh, 60 minus V1 by 5 and the current flowing through the 2 ohms resistor is V1 minus V2 by 2. And again, here the current flowing through this, uh, what is the 6 ohms resistor is here V2 minus Vr by 6, but Vr is 0. So, that's why directly we have written V2 by 6. And here, uh, here it is 50 minus V2 by 3, right? Now, apply the KVL at this particular, sorry, KCL at V1. So, what are the entering currents? This 5 amperes and this I1 is entering currents and I2 is leaving currents. Okay. So, that's why here, then here, uh, how we can write I1 plus I, let us consider this is I, I minus I2 equal to 0. So, here I1 is equal to uh, the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. So, which is 60 minus V1 by 5, 60 minus V1 by 5. And here I is the uh, directly they have given the current source 5 and here I2 is the V1 minus V2 by 2. So, V1 minus V2 by 2 which is equal to 0. Okay. Then similarly at V2, at V2 what are the entering currents? I2 and I3 are entering currents and I4 is leaving current. So, that is why here I2 minus I4 plus I3 which is equal to 0. Then substitute this, this is the I2 value and this is I4 value and this is I3 value. Okay, then by simplifying these two equations, you will get V1 and V2 values. Okay, the voltage, the node voltage V1 and V2 values. So, this is how we can apply the nodal analysis. Then, coming to the uh, the next example, okay, the super node analysis. I mean, same like in the mesh analysis here, when we need to go for the super node analysis. Okay, so, here, suppose any of branch in a network has single voltage source, then it is slightly difficult to apply the nodal analysis. Then we will go for the super node analysis. In the mesh analysis, 
Okay, if there is a current source present in between the two adjacent loops, then we will go for the super mesh analysis. But here, if a single voltage source, okay, present in between two nodes, then we will go for the super node analysis. Okay, so then see here, of course, the procedure is same again. Yeah, here you can see in between these two nodes, okay, in between two adjacent nodes, there is a single voltage source. So, in this case, we will go for the super node analysis. Then how uh, we can apply the super node analysis, now we will discuss here, right. So, of course, the same steps, first we need to identify the number of nodes, there are three number of nodes are there and then uh, indicate the node voltages V1, V2, okay, and Vr, then apply the KCL same like, okay. So, here let us come first, uh, before that, uh, let us draw, I mean, or let us indicate the current uh, flowing through each element, okay, I1, okay, I2, and uh, again, uh, this is another, okay, of course, because here again, uh, the high potential to low potential, so that's why here, uh, the current flowing through this uh, source, I mean, voltage source VC also indicated, and this is I3, and this is I4. First, let us apply, I mean, of course, I1 is equal to Va minus V1 by R1 and I R2 is equal to V1 minus Vr by R, R2 and V2 minus Vr by R2, R3. And another one is Vb minus V2 by R4. Of course, this is also same like in the previous cases, right? Now here, okay, we should consider by taking these two nodes as a one super node, okay? So, how we will write the equations based on this first, okay? So, by considering the super node, we should write one equation because here the current direction is from V2 to V1. So, V2 minus V1 is equal to minus Vc, minus Vc, okay. So, V2 minus V1 is equal to minus Vc, this is one equation and another equation is then how to write the another equation whether it is with respect to V1 or with respect to V2 right then the another equation is we are considering this one as a one common node okay so by considering this common node we are writing the equation the another equation which means v1 or okay the direction is here so va minus v1 which means here the current i1 so what i mean if you consider this is a super node okay then apply the nodal i mean uh, case here case of current law at this particular super node then what are the currents entering towards this particular node is I1 is entering current and I4 is entering current, but I2, I3 are leaving current. So, that's why here you can see I1 is entering current and I4 is entering current. So, both are having positive signs and I2, I3 are leaving currents. So, that's why if you apply the KCL at this super node, then I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 is equal to 0. Then substitute the values of I1, I2, I3, I4. Of course, here you are having two variables V1, V2 and you are, you are getting two equations 1 and 2. So, by solving these two equations, we can find V1 and V2, right. So, to better understand, let us consider some values for these uh, particular circuit, okay. So, now we are following the same procedure, first I mean in uh, identify how many number of nodes and then uh, mention the node voltages like V1, V2 and Vr, okay. Then now uh, apply the KCL at each node, but here in between V1 and V2, there is a voltage source, so that's why we usually consider uh, these we will make v1 and v2 as a single node and that particular node is we usually call it as a super node okay so of course first before that let us indicate the current flowing through each element i1 i2 i3 i4 okay then after that just uh, write uh, the current i1 equation i1 is equal to phi minus v1 by 2 similarly i2 equation i3 equation as well as the i4 equation now just uh, indicate the super node by combining the two nodes, okay. Then now uh, what is that, uh, write the equation by uh, making the super node here. So, which means V1 minus V2 is equal to 4, okay, V1 minus V2 equal to 4. Then here, uh, by considering the super node, again apply the KCL at this particular node. So, which is same like in the previous case, I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 is equal to 0. Then substitute the values of I1, I2, I3, I4 and simplify. Then you will get V1 is equal to 4.90 and V2 is equal to 0 0.909 volts. Okay. So, the only difference, I mean, when we, we should apply the super node analysis, 
if there is a single voltage source is present in between two nodes, then we will go for the super node analysis. Okay, the condition is because here you can see in between these two nodes only one single voltage source is there. There is no element connected in series with this voltage source. So, in this case we will go for the super node analysis. Okay, let us consider another circuit. Okay, of course the same super node analysis but with uh, the current sources. Instead of voltage sources, we are considering the current sources. Of course, here also the same procedure. Okay, first we should indicate the number of nodes, how many number of nodes are there, then write the node, indicate the node voltages. Okay, then after indicate the current directions in each element. Okay, so here the current directions we can easily indicate because already the current sources uh, they mention the current directions also, right. Then now write the equations for these currents I1 is equal to 1.5 they have already mentioned and I2 is equal to V1 minus 0 by 6 and I3 is equal to 3.5 that they have already given and I4 is equal to V2 minus 0 by 3. Then apply, okay, so similar like in the previous case, first we should consider these two as a one common node, okay, R super node. Then write the equation based on the super node which is V1 minus V2 is equal to minus 12 volts, okay, and then Again, by considering this super node, apply the KCL at a super node. Then by applying the KCL at a super node, I1 minus I2 plus I3 minus I4 is equal to 0 because here I1 is entering current and I3 is also, where is I3? I3 is also entering current but I2 and I4 are leaving current. So, that is why I1 minus I2 plus I3 minus I4 is equal to 0. Substitute these values here, then you will can, then we can find I1 and, uh, sorry, V1 and V2 values. So, here V1 is equal to 2 volts and V2 is equal to 14 volts. Understood? Then, let us take some more little complex circuit. Okay. So, it is a combination. Of course, here it is having uh, many loops and uh, of course, more than uh, two nodes. Okay. So, then in this circuit also, first let us identify the number of nodes, 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes are there and let us indicate the node voltages V1, V2, V3 and the reference node Vr is equal to 0. Then now indicate the current directions flowing through each element. Okay, So, these are the current directions flowing through each element and let us indicate uh, what is that the currents also here it is 12 amperes. Okay, Here it is I1 let us consider which is equal to V1 minus 0 by 4 and let us consider this is I2 and let us consider this is I3 and this is I I3 and this is I4 and uh, again this is uh, the super node. Okay, now we need to apply the, of, of course here there are three nodes are there, so how many equations we will get? Three node equations we will get, okay, uh, with respect to V1, V2, V3, but here in between V1 and V3 there is a one single voltage source so that we can make this V1, V3 as a one super node. So, based on this V1, V3, first we should write one equation which is, okay, so V1 plus 36 minus V3 is equal to 0 or in another words, uh, V1 minus V3 is equal to minus 36. Then, this is between V1 and V3, that is one equation, okay, this is the first equation, V1 minus V3 is equal to minus 36 and the second equation is with respect to the super node, V1, V3. Okay, so if you make V1, V3 as a super node, then what are the currents here? This 12 amperes and I1 we should consider and uh, what is that? I4 we should consider and 24 we should consider. Okay, then the super node equation is here, of course, this 12 ohms is uh, towards the node. So, that is why 12 and again I1, I1 is away from the node. So, that is why minus I1 and I2. Okay, so I2 is also away from the node. So, that is why here minus I2 and I3, where is I3? I3 is, uh, I3 is uh, towards the node, so that is why here, uh, what is that, plus I3 and I4, where is I4? Yeah, I4 is away from the node, so that is why here, uh, minus I4 and 24 is again towards the node, so that is why plus 24 is equal to 0. So, which means here this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Then the third equation is again the independent node V2, V2. okay. Again at V2, we should apply the KCL. So, here, uh, what are the uh, currents? I2. I3 and this 18 amperes. Okay, so which means here at this particular node, okay, so here uh, where is, yeah, sorry, I mean here uh, before that, yeah, at V2, yeah, I2 is the entering currents 
and 18 MPS is the living current and I3 is also living current. So, that's why I2 minus 18 minus I3 is equal to 0. So, this is equation number 3. So, by uh, simplifying these three equations, okay, because this is equation number 1, we will get by in between node V1 and V2, sorry, V1 and uh, V3 and equation number 2, we will get, okay, from the super node by considering the super node and equation number 3, we got from node V2. Then simplify equation number 1, 2, 3, then we will get the values of V1, V2, V3. Okay, so this is the this is how we can apply the nodal analysis. Okay, so let us just conclude uh, this nodal analysis by giving some conclusion points. So first of all, in the nodal analysis, we should able to identify how many nodes are there. Then after that, we should indicate the node voltages like V1, V2, V3, and so on. If there are n number of nodes, then we should indicate n minus one number of nodes as a uh, what is that um, considered for the nodal equations and the remaining node we should consider for the reference node. So, the, refer at the voltage at the reference node we usually consider as a 0. Then apply the KCL at each node so that you will get the node equations. So, suppose if there are two node nodes are there, I mean if, if there are two nodal equations are there, we, then uh, two equations we will get. So, so that by solving those two equations we will get V1, v1 and V2. Then when we will go for the supernode, uh, supernodal analysis, if there is a single voltage source across two nodes is there, then we will go for the supernode analysis, right? So the next topic we will discuss in the next class. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.